Hey folks, Bob Warfield here. Today I want to introduce you to our new CAD CAM estimator product, uh, which is an add-on product for our G-Wizard calculator. Uh, essentially what it does is feature-based cost estimation for machine shops using CAD CAM Wizard to provide the features. Once you've created your estimate, it then outputs a spreadsheet that's suitable either for you to customize it and directly use it for quotes and estimation or use it to feed the uh, feature-based cost estimation into your current estimating and quotation system so that you've got some good data. Why use G-Wizard for cost estimation? It's a good question. The number one requirement in estimation is accuracy. Uh, when you go out with a quote or when you bet on a new product costing a certain price, there's a lot riding on the accuracy of your estimate about what it's going to cost to manufacture the parts. Um, when you use G-Wizard for cost estimation, you have uh, an unparalleled feeds and speeds engine. We're the market leader in that field. Uh, we have 22,000 users to date. There are hundreds of manufacturers, including big names uh, that all of you are familiar with, that use our product to do their feeds and speeds. On top of that, our CAD CAM wizard makes it really easy to define features. A machinist can, can look at a print for a part and know immediately, you know, I'm going to have to do a pocket here, I'm going to have to do some 2D profiling there, I'm going to have to face mill these sides, I need to make these holes, and CAD CAM wizard just makes it really easy to enter a minimum of information def and define the features. The role of the CAD CAM estimator is then to collect that information together and turn that into an overall estimate of the cost to make a part. So anytime you're going to do estimating and quoting, it's going to take a lot of customization to set it up for your shop's needs. A lot of shops use spreadsheets to do this. The thing is, if you feed your spreadsheets good data, you'll get good estimates back, and we're all about accuracy of feeds and speeds. So let's do a quick demo and give you a tour of what the CAD CAM estimator is all about. Let's say we're going to make a tray. I've kind of sketched one out here and rendered it. Uh, we're going to make it out of steel. We're going to treat it with some acid or some salt to create some rust as a sort of a decorative pattern. We're going to face mill the top of it so there's a contrasting uh, edge here. Um, so, you know, call it a paper trip tr paper clip tray it's an ashtray whatever it is you want to think of it it's just a simple project for us to use in our estimation demo and it's pretty obvious we're going to need to profile the sides we're going to need to cut a pocket in the middle of it and we're going to need to face mill uh, this top area so let's jump in and see what it's like to do an estimate here's our G wizard calculator product uh, familiar feeds and speeds page and here is CAD CAM wizard and the estimator is all part of that it it's, uh, lives down here in this area uh, so let's take our ashtray and uh, uh, start out by cutting the pocket and let's say the overall tray measures six inches by six inches and we want to cut a uh, four inch uh, by a four inch pocket uh, into the tray, let's say it's a two inch high uh, piece of material, and so let's go down uh, 1.75 inches into that material. And moreover, since we want to use the rust as a decoration uh, for it, let's choose some mild steel as our material that we're going to be making these things out of. So, um, having entered all of that information, we can see here that our DFM, Design for Manufacturing Hint Window, is telling us, hey, we may have a problem. Uh, this, this pocket is going to be pretty expensive to do uh, because the corner radiuses, we've got it set to an eighth of an inch, are uh, pretty small relative to our tool size. We can only get a quarter inch tool and we're making it go uh, very deep. Uh, so let us start out by making our cavity a little bit less deep. Let's go to inch and a half um, and see how that benefits us. That's still, that helps, but that's still not enough. 
So let's relax this corner radius. It's just decorative anyway. We can go to a full quarter inch. That allows us to use a, a half inch end mill. And you'll notice uh, uh, G Wizard's CAD CAM Wizard is making all of the tooling recommendations and producing a complete uh, uh, formula here that shows us what we're going to do. And I think the last thing we'll do is we'll go to a, a carbide coated uh, end mill to try to get our time down a little bit more on this pocket. So we're ready to put in our first estimate which is for the uh, cavity so let's add that to the estimate. You'll note we have put in a machine rate here of sixty dollars an hour so we can get some costing uh, information back. We'll add this to the estimate. And then let's go on, let's do the 2D profile next around the outside of the uh, of the tray. So we said it was a uh, six inch by six inch tray. Um, oops. Six inch by six inch tray and we said it was about uh, two inches high. Uh, we'll leave a stock allowance of a tenth of an inch. Uh, we should be able to get the, the blanks cut with that level of accuracy. There are no inside corners. We're just strictly going to go around the outside. Uh, so this would be a relatively cheap operation to perform. And so let's add the outside profile to our estimate. And then the last thing we're going to do here, this is not a precision part, it's just a tray, uh, is we're going to face mill for that uh, decorative effect. So again, it's a six inch by six inch, and uh, there's no need to take off a quarter inch of material. Let's let's reduce that to a tenth. That ought to be, get rid of any of the surface irre irregularities we're dealing with, and and just uh, you know give us a nice face milled uh, top on the part, and uh, just make a note of that. Add it to the estimate, and so we've now gone through all the all the machining operations. Let's go see how they look. Here we are in the estimator and we're going to call it a paperclip tray and you know we're, we're going to manufacture these for Acme Desk Widgets Inc. and it's a GT2000 paperclip tray and so I'm the estimator here, Bob Warfield. This is my third try at this. Here's the date and what we can see is we're estimating it'll cost $22.80 a piece uh, here's the cycle time information. We can do about two of these an hour, 21 of them in an eight hour shift, 105 of them a week, you know, so on and so forth. Um, now this is just machining operations. There's other types of operations we want to add to this. So for example, uh, let's, let's add the material. Let's pay for the, uh, the raw stock. So we're going to take some rectangular material. Uh, it's picked up the material. Uh, we said we were going to go two inches by six inches by six inches, and I don't know. Last time I looked at mild steel, it was like a dollar and a quarter a pound or something. It, it moves around, so you want to be up to date on that. And let's let's save that up back. All right. So now we've added in the material, and it looks like we can make these trays for about fifty dollars a shot. Now, that's that's gotten us the basic information. We can add operations for setups. We can, you know, add coatings. We can deburr. We can water jet the initial blank. You know, all of that information can be built into the estimate. Uh, once we have all the data available, we export to a spreadsheet. And uh, as we say, the point of the spreadsheet is. Uh, to be able to feed that into uh, your other the rest of your estimating process, whatever that might be. So let me just uh, just jump in here and get access to the spreadsheet. Uh, here we go. All right. So here's our uh, spreadsheet with the various operations in it, and uh, you know you get the same information that appears in the program. You're now ready to either customize this spreadsheet and turn it into a quote of some kind or feed this information into your normal quotation system. So that's what the uh, that's what the CAD CAM estimator is all about. Uh, it's a real uh, easy to use, quick but yet accurate way to get estimation information together. It's also been pointed out by some of our customers that it's a really handy way to sit down and 
get all of your tooling and feeds and speeds information together in a simple format so that when you do sit down in front of the CAM program to generate the G-code, you have all the information you need, uh, you know, your tooling, your cut depth, your cut width, RPM, and feed rate. It's all there for you to make your session at the CAD CAM program that much more efficient. Thanks very much.